Grand Theft Auto 6 developers are absolutely furious at Rockstar Games and their parent company Take-Two Interactive. Also a new GTA Online update is coming out in a few short days. How will this affect GTA 6's release time frame and trailer 2? We're going to be getting into all that today and a whole lot more. But before we get straight into this video today, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing as 86.9% of my viewers are currently not subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss any of the latest and upcoming GTA 6 content, so please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. So getting straight into it, it seems that the Rockstar Games developer are absolutely furious with the fact that they have to go back to work five days a week in the office starting April. An article has actually come out from the Independent Game Workers Union based in the UK. And you can see here with Ben or Video Tech, a Rockstar Games enthusiast sharing this on X or Twitter saying that a Game Workers Union, IWGP Great Britain, have voiced concerns about Rockstar Games' latest decision to require staff to attend to the office five days a week, citing it may cause mental health issues and potential crunch time. You guys are unaware, this of course is in relation to what was previously reported prior to this, where Rockstar Games Vice President Jennifer Colby stated that GTA 6 is in the final stages of development at the moment and they want to make sure by getting all the Rockstar Games employees the developers back into the office will ensure that everything will be polished and ready for release at the highest of quality. This begs the question will the GTA 6 developers be crunching during the end of its development cycle in terms of finalizing and getting GTA 6 out of the door. Well it seems that now one Rockstar Games anonymous worker actually came out and commented on this situation by saying Saying that working from home has been a lifeline for many of us at Rockstar, allowing us to balance care responsibilities, manage disabilities, and relocate as we need. Now Rockstar is snatching away that lifeline without a second thought for the workers who will be impacted most. After so many broken promises, we now fear management may even be paving the way for a return to toxic crunch practices. Senior leadership need to rethink their reckless decision making and engage with their staff to find an arrangement that works for everyone. As you can see right there, one Rockstar Games employee out of a lot of other anxious Rockstar Games employees have voiced their concerns saying that this is definitely the most reckless decision in relation to actioning a mandate to return to the office full time five days a week. The reason why a lot of Rockstar employees are stressed about this situation and are concerned is because this actually happened with Red Dead Redemption 2, especially at the tail end of its life cycle. There was a crunch culture that was occurring within the company at the time back before the game released. It was actually an article published by Jason Schreier back in 2018 going over this crunch culture that was occurring in terms of the development of Red Dead Redemption 2 at the time. And the article goes, two Sundays ago, a glowing article in the New York Magazine about the making of RDR2 ignited controversy thanks to a quote left unexamined and unexplained in which previous president of Rockstar Games, Dan Hauser, described working 100 hour weeks to get the game out of the door. And in addition to this, many other employees said their average weekly hours came close to 55 or 60, which would make for six 10 hour days. Most current and former Rockstar employees said they had asked or felt compelled to work nights and weekends. Some were on hourly contracts and got paid for overtime, but many were salaried and did not receive any compensation for their extra hours. Based off what's occurred in the past, I can pretty much see the point of view from the Rockstar employees, why they are concerned that history may once again repeat itself in terms of the crunch culture occur reoccurring for GTA GTA 6's development and getting it out of the door that they may have to crunch during the final stages of development and getting it ready and polished for the 2025 release next year. It surely is a very, very interesting. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description below for both of those articles so you guys can have a bit of a thorough read in regards to the situation occurring within Rockstar at the moment and what occurred with RDR2 prior to that. Moving on to the next topic, Rockstar Games actually came out with a new trailer for for their next GTA Online update, referred to as GTA Online Cluckenbell Farm Raid, which seems to be a new heist with a set of contact missions with a returning character called Vincent. This update is coming on March 7th, so in a few short days we'll be seeing this update with new content for a lot of GTA Online players. If you do still play, then it is something to look forward to. I guess the interesting thing to note about all of this is that it's not actually the fact that the GTA Online update is coming out in a few short days. I'm sure in terms of content for a lot of players, that is obviously a great thing. 
but it's very interesting the timing of this. Reason being is because in terms of the most recent years, Rockstar games nowadays come out with two big updates per year. One that occurs in that sort of July period and one that occurs around the holiday Christmas period in December. And now it seems that the update for GTA Online has come out much more earlier than expected. Some people have speculated in the community, including myself, that this is because they are saving room, saving space for the next trailer to come out for GTA 6, that being at trailer 2. And it actually kind of makes sense when you think about it. I mean, the last time we saw any official update from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6 was their official announcement of the game itself with trailer 1 that occurred in early December of last year. It's pretty much been three months since then. And with this new update coming on March 7th, obviously it'll be great for a lot of GTA Online players in terms of new content. But I think in terms of when we are going to be seeing trailer 2, I would say that the reason being that they are not coming out with a new update for GTA Online around that July period, this pretty much indicates that there's room for trailer 2 to pretty much come out within that April to July period. I would say we should be seeing some updates from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6. And I would say probably prior to trailer 2, we'll probably definitely be getting some screenshots. Then trailer 2 will drop shortly after that. It's just in terms of Rockstar Games and what they have done in the past with their previous entries, to follow a similar pattern in terms of trailers to release. Now, whether the, the marketing period has slightly altered in terms of maybe it's a shorter marketing period from trailer one to release, which seems to be the case in terms of the recent information that has come out from Rockstar Games stating that GTA 6 is in the final stages of development at the moment. I would say that trailer two is surely going to be coming out within the coming months. But now I wanna hear from you guys in that comment section below. When do you think trailer two will be coming out do you think it'll be releasing within the next few months or do you think it'll be coming out later this year? I want to make sure to hear from you guys down in that comments down below. Also, what do you make of the Rockstar Games employees being forced to come back to work at the office five days a week, Monday to Friday, starting next month in April. How will this affect GTA 6's development cycle and the potential crunch-like culture reoccurring at Rockstar Games, which may impact GTA 6 as a whole? But yes, like I said, I'll make sure to leave those articles down in the description below so you guys can have a thorough read of them. But guys, make sure to have a great day, stay safe, subscribe to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming GTA 6 related video. As each day passes by, we are nearing closer and closer to the release of GTA 6, so you don't want to miss any upcoming GTA 6 related video, because I'm sure in the next few months or so, we're going to be seeing a lot coming up in relation to GTA 6. You don't want to miss any of that, so the best time is to subscribe right now to the channel. By that, guys, make sure to have a great day, stay safe, and I am out.